Alright, hello people, today we are going to create a lovely little button animation, just like that, in HTML and CSS. Alright, let's cut it right away. So, we do have two files, index.html and style CSS. It will be really quick, so let me just zoom it, zoom in a bit. So, yeah, the button is already zoomed in right there, so at 100% it looks like that, but I will just zoom in to see it better. So. We do have a link with animated link and the href will just have a hash right there, okay? Then a span inside it by course, just like that. You can open with live server, great. Then right there we do have simple reset and just font family on the body. We can center our element and just put some padding top just for the sake of the example indeed, okay? Just to have something like that. Great. Now we need to take care of the, um, the parent, the, 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 the link, the animated link. So it will have inline block, a background black, border radius, whoops, border radius 3 pixel to round the angle, and text decoration not to remove the bar right there. Okay. So why why do we have what why do we have yes the inline block right there just to adapt to the content okay so we will style the span span inside it and we want the container uh, to take the whole uh, width and height of its content so we will just use inline block right there then we need to just style our animated link span so inline block again but this, this time it's just to use transform because transform, the property, doesn't work with inline elements, okay? And span is an inline element by default. So we need at least an inline block or block, okay? Then a background yellow, FBE94C, color 333, uh -huh. border one pixel, solid 333, yes. Okay, then we need to add some padding, 18 pixel, a font size of 20 pixel, some font weight to 600. Okay, great, that's looking great. Then border radius, 3 pixel too, like the parent, and a cursor pointer. So basically that's it, it's, it's the same but without the animation indeed. And now we need to add some transition. Whoops. So, a transition and transform, 0 0.15 second is out. And so to duplicate it, just uh, press shift alt arrow down, just like that. Okay. And also on color and background color. And we will talk performance a bit later. Don't worry about that. Background color. Okay. And then whenever we hover our animated link, then our span will transform translate minus six pixel minus six pixel and we want to change the color to OOO and bg to ff90 e8 all right let's try it out that's working and that's lovely so just tweak the value if you want to change the color or whatever also the transform right there if you want to play with it a little bit to add more funkiness to your animation. Okay, so basically it's great like that. Okay, great. So about the performance, transform is really good to animate. It's really performant and opacity too. Those are the two properties that you need to try to animate the most, transform and opacity. And color and background color aren't so performance. It will cause repaint with your brother, but if the animation is really small, just like that, it won't make your website crash and it's not bad for performance, okay? Uh, if it makes your website crash, it means that your website in the, uh, in the first place is really badly made, okay? Uh, this is just a button animation, so it's perfectly okay to do that kind of stuff, all right? But I will show you the most performant way and you will see that it's maybe not really maintainable or not as easily maintainable as that. So basically it will look like that. It's still a link, but I had another span, which is a layer, and that layer will have two color, 
um, the base layer and a pseudo element after with another color. And whenever I will hover my animated link, it will make the pseudo element disappear with opacity zero. So I do have the code there, I guess. Yes. Okay, so let me just copy and paste it. So basically it's the same animated link, etc. Okay, uh, but right there we do have a layer uh, with um, a pseudo element and that pseudo element will have that background color yellow and the base, the base layer will have that pink color. Okay, and whenever we hover our link, it will just make the, the layer pseudo element after uh, disappear. Okay, so since this is opacity, it will be much more performant. Okay, and uh, yeah, that's it pretty much. But you know, we are adding a bit of code, and it's it's basically the same. You won't gain so much performance for, for, from it. So I don't think this is useful. Okay, I don't think this is useful. So just Control Z, and we will keep the much simpler way, the the, the, the simplest version. Okay, so that's it pretty much for this button animation, this lovely button animation. All right, great. See you next time. Bye.